this is where I came at them. This is uh, where your tap wrenches are, is at this wastewater plant. It's just a tank farm. Down in the industrial part of town. Hey Adam, he didn't have any uh, handles for this uh, for this little guy here, but I got I got a, a spare one here that fits this one. He's got all these other handles, but they don't fit anything, so I'm not even going to take them. Uh, those are just three quarter pipe, and these are all a smaller version of it with a different thread. But I got all the handles for the three big ones, but that little one you might have to make uh, handles for because that size doesn't. Uh, doesn't fit in there. This can go with your uh, right next to your Monarch, Adam. Little tiny thing. Look at the size of that three jaw. Woo wee! Okay, hey guys, uh, this is what I hauled out of that uh, wastewater treatment plant. Um, this first one <clears throat> is a uh, Morse, made in USA, number 16. Um, they did not have handles for it. The one spare handle that they have uh, doesn't even come close to fitting, and they didn't have any that fit there. I went through all the handles we had over there. But uh, <clears throat> across the uh, diagonally, this guy's going to measure out at uh, uh, 1.220. So if we take uh, 1.220 uh, divide by 1.414. 0.220 divided by 1 point. My point's not working. There we go. 1.414 equals. Um, you're going to measure about uh, uh, 0.862 across the flats on that one. Uh, let's check this one. This is a, a Greenfield. It says GTD. That's Greenfield Tap and Die. Uh, number 8. Uh, I had both handles for this one. Uh, this one's going to measure out at uh, uh, 1.579, so 1.579 divided by 1.414 equals, uh, that one's going to measure out at uh, 1 inch, uh, 116 thousandths. Uh, let's measure the two big ones. Uh, this is, a, again, Greenfield GTD. Greenfield tap and die. These are the number 22 uh, uh, tap wrenches. Uh, one of them's got a bit longer handle than the other, but I have one spare handle. I grabbed all the tap handles he had, and he had one spare tap handle here. And these guys are going to measure, uh, uh, looks like 2.327 uh, across the uh, diagonal. 2.327 divided by 1.414 equals, uh, that one's, uh, these are going to be 1.645 across the flats. So uh, there's your sizes. Uh, tap handle overalls, these, these big dogs here, this guy here fully extended with your, with your die wide open, 54 inches. This one's 53 inches. This guy here is 41 inches. And your little one here, I, like I said, I didn't have handles for this, but the actual head itself is uh, 11 and a half inches. All right. But that was your score, Adam. And if you want to share this with uh, Bruce over there in Australia, feel free to share this video. I'll show you what I got. I picked up a, a Roper Whitney uh, sheet metal punch. There's all the dies. One set of dies is in it. That's why there's an empty slot there. Uh, hardly been used, but it, uh, if you've ever used a Roper Whitney uh, uh, sheet metal punch, they're just great little hand punches for, for popping sheet metal uh, holes all the way up to 932. Uh, the other thing I did was a there was a, a proto screw extractor set that was incomplete, uh, no drill bits, and all the small screw extractors are broken or missing. Big mystery there, but the rest of them were complete. Uh, all the way down to this one here for our 3 8 drill, was, this was the smallest screw extractor. These are the square ones with the little flutes on them. Um, I gave 20 bucks for it, so not bad. 
So anyways, Adam, uh, let me know how you want these things to go out and who gets what. All right. Talk to you. Bye.